<laughs> What's up, my MC fan? What is up, my Jimmy family? My Tesla family? My Netflix family? What is up, my Snap family? Snap, you guys are getting beat down. It's all good looking like Rocky Balboa and Rocky Three getting beat down by Clever Lang. Okay, what is up, my Snap family? And my retail family, all my retail family. What's up, it's your boy Mike coming at you from. While well, I'm chilling at the crib, this is not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. Before I get started, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, okay? Now, I was at the pool, I got out of the pool, and I just wanted to jump out and make a video because there's some things I wanna say, some things I do wanna get off my chest, okay? Now, I wanna say this, I'm gonna be very, very clear. I hope everybody in the stock market is, is appreciating and enjoying the green days that we're having, the massive green days, the pushing to the upside, because you know, you get something like this, let me go ahead and move over here. He gets something like, for instance, the beginning of the week, okay? We had a lot of indicators coming out for the economic calendar. And what did we have, okay? We had Home Builders Index come out, big miss, green. We had Building Permits, big miss. Actually, Building Permits are flat, still green. We also had Housing Starts, big miss, green. Existing Home Sales, big miss, green. Initial Jobless Claims, miss, green. Continuous Jobless Claims, miss, green. Fed Manufacturing Index, massive, massive downside, green. Leading economic indicators, miss, green. Don't matter what comes out, it's gonna be green. Now banks, the banks are losing revenue, they're losing money, green. Why? Well, simply because they're lying to us. They're not telling you everything that's going on in the market, they're not telling you what's happening behind the scenes. And as I say, that the retail investors always last to know. Now in the link below, I'm actually gonna link a video by Zip Trader. okay? Zip Trader made a video, and it's all just talking about what happened in 2007, 2007, 2008, okay? And he said something that Mark Twain said. Mark Twain once said, history never repeats itself, but it does rhyme. Now, if you watch this video, again, it'll be in the link below, you'll understand what I'm saying. They're not telling us what they are doing because they're preparing for some nasty downside. What they're doing is they're getting all the situation correctly, their families, their friends, all the people that they're rubbing elbows with, the 1%, they're getting all situated. And what they're doing is they're stacking themselves so when there's a nasty downturn, not only can they make money, but they can siphon money from the retail investor, the everyday average working person. Now, if you do not, if you believe that the market's green and everything is okay, now there's a bridge that I wanna sell you and, and it's a great price, okay? But if you understand what I'm talking about, inflation, the average person, low income, medium income, actually, you know, there's probably no medium income, no. it's just pretty much low income and high income, that is it. Everybody's feeling the ramifications of what is going on, not whether it's groceries, whether it's gas, whether it's um, housing prices, rents, cars, car payments, I mean, you give it a name all across the board, the prices are going up in a massive, massive way and people are suffering, yet they have the uh, audacity, the nerve to come up and stand behind the podium and say, everything is fine everything's gonna be okay. I'm just waiting for the day they come out and say, everything is transitory. If they do that, I mean, I think it would just be like the end of all, the end all be all, it'd be a phenomenal day because how much lower can you get? Okay, now, I also wanna say one thing. I'm gonna give a shout out. I'm gonna give a special shout out for two reasons, okay? Two reasons to YouTubers, okay? Now, including myself, <laughs> I put myself in this. The reason why I'm gonna give a shout out to YouTubers for a couple of reasons, okay? But two specific reasons, I wanna give a shout out to every single YouTuber. I don't care if people like you, if they don't like you, I do not care. This shout out goes to every single YouTuber. Now, the first reason why I'm gonna give a shout out to YouTubers because unlike MSNBC, Fox Business, CNN, the Fed, anybody that you see, they're not telling you the truth. They're pretty much just feeding you a whole bunch of bullshit, okay? Now, the YouTubers from all across the board, all walks of life, small channels, big channels, I don't care what, they're telling you what is going on. They're giving you information, valuable information that nobody else is giving you, that nobody has the balls to come up on TV and tell you what is going on, okay? Maybe there might be a couple here and there, um, but maybe Charles Payne, okay, shout out to Charles Payne. But YouTubers are pretty much the one giving you information, the factual information about what is going on because the YouTubers are the ones, including myself, are considered the low income. We're not the high income, we're not that 1%. So the YouTubers should get a lot of props, okay? And the other reason why, the second reason why I'm gonna give a shout out to YouTubers, including myself, simply because of this. Now, I'm also gonna thank the video for this. Now, me, Kevin, made a video regarding how inflation's hit, running rapid, it's hitting ad space, it's hitting all across the board in many sectors, okay? But the algorithms for YouTube, okay, and how they pay out for YouTube videos has changed and decreased in a dramatic way. Now, if you put up the hours that people um, put into making YouTube videos with the editing, the filming, and going on and on, and the big uh, the big shows that they put on, okay, they do great jobs. Now, if you add that by the hour, 
you're working the less than minimum wage. The YouTubers are working less than minimum wage. I know for sure, 100%, and I don't even have the production as some of these guys do, okay? And that's why I give a big shout out to the YouTubers because without the YouTubers right now, a lot of people are getting information that not only is it true, not only is it factual, but you're not getting anywhere from MSNBC, Fox Business, CNN, you're not getting anywhere else. It's the YouTubers, you know, and they're actually going to take it to Twitter, into social media, but telling you what is going on. Stop watching TV, because they don't give a shit about you. Oops, they don't care about you, but they don't give a shit about you. Stop watching TV and pay attention. And if you have a question, look for yourself because the bottom is coming, there's gonna be a rug pull and it's gonna hurt millions and millions and millions of people just like us, okay? And last before I leave, before I get out of here, I wanna give a shout out to Nancy Pelosi, the best insider trader in the world. She is phenomenal. That's all I have. The price of MC is not the price of MC and the retail investors always last to know. That's what I got, peace.